Hola, hola. Hola, hola. How is everybody? I can see if I've got everything set up right here. Welcome, welcome. It's Thursday at 2 o'clock, Mountain Time, Arizona time. Welcome to Sarita Casita. It's Brenda Schwader coming to you live. So today we're going to be showing you all about these bicones. And they come like this on these little header packs. So darn cute. I love, love, love how they're already sort of color selected for you. You have a couple different ones. There's four on each. And there's some at six millimeter and some at five, uh, eight millimeter. Um, but they come with the jump rings already attached. I mean, that's kind of nice. You don't have to make jump rings, just saying. So this particular uh, color way is called Royal Jewels. And I just, I love it. love it. You can see the reflection from outside. I've got the door open. Sorry for those of you guys who, who might not be able to do that. You know, I love it. Okay, so here it is. I made one, and this is called Autumn autumn sunset here let's go down to this camera and see if we can have oh add to stream okay so let's see if we can't show you guys this it's a little jutty isn't it i hope you're not getting that let's go this way but i just absolutely love this we've got a topaz in there we've got different i can just tell uh, so i've took i took put two packages on this one. So there's eight on here and then you can see the difference. There's some six millimeter and then there's some also some eight and these are Preciosa. No, I guess they're not. They're Czech. Okay. But I love the fact that they're charms. I'm getting mixed up with all my stuff. Okay. And so this is the one I did. I had to throw another one of those uh, red hearts on these foil hearts because I just love them. It's just, I just add them to everything, but you can see too that, it's beautiful, even without the red heart, with all these charms on them. I'm going to go back up. And then I also want to um, show you, I had to show you because um, if you guys don't, are you familiar with Azalea Ogden? Um, you need to get familiar with her. She is a high schooler, and I've known her ever since she, and she was sitting down playing underneath the booth at the Beat and Button Show or wherever they were for Green Girl Studios. And she made these shrinky dink charms. Absolutely okay. One, one's like a little monster with horns. There's another one like of the girl with a with a ball on, uh, on top of it, I guess. There's this fish and a mushroom. I think this mushroom has a piece of cheese on top. I'm not sure. I got to ask Azalea what she was thinking with that one. And then there's a sad face here. Sad face. <laughs> anyway, uh, look her up on Instagram. I'll put the spelling of her name down here for you guys. And she's also participating. She made a couple dolls for me. Azalea. And I think if it's not, Azalea is incredible. Uh, that, thanks. Um, Ogden on Instagram. Okay, another reminder, guys, because I can't see somebody, if you're a Facebook user, if you haven't signed up with StreamYard yet, please go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I just see you as Facebook user. I want to see you like Adele. There's Adele. <laughs> right? Okay. So, okay, Adele, I'll put you down. Okay, how about we make some bangles? Now, what I want to tell you is that these are the instructions and the patterns and the blah, blah, everything that is on bead projects and PDFs from John Bead. <laughs> Go to that Facebook group now. Um, hi, Adele. And so we do have two different versions. These are all free on that site. If you can't get there, whatever. They're also on the Etsy, uh, Etsy link that's up there. We always feature the um, the ones from this week and then they go back down into just make sure that when you buy them that you're buying either the non-jig, this is the John Bead version, or the NTAJ version, which is this version right here. Okay. 
I'm not big on writing instructions. But I will do anything for John Beagle. <laughs> and for you guys. So look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you know what you've got. There's all kinds of different ideas there. Everything you need. All the SKUs uh, that are used for that. Except, you know, in a live, I usually add some more. Just to confuse you. And then this one doesn't have, this one's not all that instruction uh, heavy, which is kind of nice because Sundays was like amazingly heavy with instructions. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make a bangle off jig. And I, what I want to do is I want to show you how to do, how to go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can pull this back up. And uh, yep, there we go. So you can see. So let's go to this view. And then let's go with this view over here. Look at that. It actually worked today. Woo -hoo. And I thought what we would do is we would work with some either like, well, we might have to work with both purple or fuchsia. Woo -hoo. You know, we got to do, we did the red already for Valentine's Day. So why not do some more, right? And then I thought, you know, this is kind of, this is going to be kind of a small one. So I wanted to fill in a little bit. And so I thought what we might do is show how to make a charm with some Preciosa bicones, just as a little bonus, because I love you guys so much, and you know. So I thought maybe we would work with this one. Now, what is this color? I am going to look down here. Light Rose, Light Rose AB, and this, if I'm not mistaken, yep, it's an eight millimeter. So just so you guys know, when you get these, look at all this beautiful crystal here. You get 15 pieces right on this string. This is obviously a temporary string, but look at that flash. That is something, something beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down here. This is here, if you don't have the bangle size with pucks um, from, now that's a jig. By the way, there are just a smattering of things left, and I'm going to be putting those on clearance very soon. I'm not even sure why I didn't do that before the end of the year, except for well, I just didn't have my head on straight, to be honest. <laughs> so what I do is I just put this right down here, and if you don't have something like, if you don't have a bangle sizer puck, uh, you might want to just say, hey, what do I have that, and I'm looking around my studio, which is what I used to do before I had the jig, what uh, what can I form this around? Nope, not that. That's too small. Um, you know, or maybe you've got something. I was always in my pantry looking for stuff. Nope. What about the bottom? So look at that. We have something here, this cute little thing that I can form around here. Okay. So, but first, before, before I want to show you this, basically what stuff in there. <laughs> what happens is that you're going to go, you're going to start right here. Always start at this starter arrow, guys. And then we're going to go around. We're going to cross over. We're not going to cross over. We're going to bypass because we're not going to intersect. And then we're going to go back down here to the halfway point. So, so this part is only covered with one piece of wire. And then these parts are with two. And then we're going to come back here. You can do this even up to... Um, uh, a quarter uh, a quarter inch and let me show you kind of here I think it's actually kind of cute with this bigger bigger one but you could do a smaller one and so basically I've got like three different sizes in here nested that's what all those colors mean there uh, when you do get your pattern so um, <laughs> sorry I got this a little bit crooked because I'm trying to trying to keep out all the um, the back stuff <laughs> So anyway, let's work with this because that'll be quite uh, quite fun actually. Because and you guys, because you a lot of you don't have the um, the bangle sizer pucks. Okay. By the way, can you see around me? I got this like little backdrop thing, and I didn't think it was supposed to work. If you guys can see my it's like a rainbow in back of there, and my beautiful eucalyptus tree. That's gonna probably have to come down. Meh. All right. So on the in the instructions, let's go purple. How about that? What we're going to do is we're going to cut off, and I think this is probably way too much, but I always like to add um, way too much. Look at this. I can just straighten this with my fingers. This is, you can't do this with any other wire but aluminum. I mean, really. 
So I think I said 17 inches on here. So we're just going to go 12 and then another five right here in my ruler. And I'm going to, and it's going to be way too much. I'm just going to kind of take this and I kind of like this double thing because then you can kind of see me over here while you're waiting over there. Um, so yeah, let's put this back here. I don't know how this is going to look, but I think not too bad with these bright red charms. You know, that's kind of the colors of the season, right? Now, make sure I know that this one here, that now that I picked this, I said, let's use this. There's also a little bit of an indent here, right? Because you can kind of see this is, this is, so don't, don't do this the way that I could have done. And basically put this in here down in this lip and then not being able to get it off. Oh, you will be able to because I'm not tightening it. But um, so, okay, so you can kind of see what I'm going around, 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 around. And I'm going to hold this and I'm going to form it as I go. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> Do I have to sign up every time? I have done it before. No, Debbie, you are good. Thanks for, thanks for that. <laughs> but this person who said this, I'm going to out you here. Uh, not really outing because you you need to sign up for whoever said that. <laughs> okay. So look at this. And here's where, look at this. It immediately just takes the form of that. And I am just absolutely in love. When you get down to here, you can maybe mark. I was thinking, you know what? They could tell them they could, they could mark this. I don't really think that's a good idea, actually. But what I'm going to do is at that three and nine o'clock, I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to bend this right there. So I know where to make that loop. I'm going to take that pliers there and I'm going to bend that there. So these look really, really hard to make. They're really not, not at all. Okay. And actually, so 17 isn't all that that much extra because basically what I want to do now is I'm going to clip this. I'm going to make um, kind of a bigger link, I think. So I'm going to clip this at about half inch, three eighths, something like that. And I'm always using the back side, my flush side. Here we go. Sorry about that. Of my cutters. Okay. I'm going to hold that. I always hold both pieces. Keeping that out of the way. And then I, I like to hold on to that and throw that away off camera right away. And you can flip this. I also want to mention, I'm, I think I told you guys before, I'm really digging these John B. Pro pliers now with these, these grips. Really, really cool. Okay, so we've got this now here. And oh, I was gonna, I was gonna see how much I cut off. But I think I'm going to stick with that whole 17 thing. I thought I was going to give you way too much, but it's amazing what what uh, how much wire you use when you um, start actually doing something. So let's grab this. You can use these guys. This is a round nose or also John B has these and they're not that same grip, right? But what I like about these is they've got one side. Let's try that with the dot nylon jaw and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this pretty much in this this area right here and i'm going to bend roll back bend roll back until i get it pretty close and actually it's hard to do this Okay. Now, if you didn't make that cut, make that right angle right away, you would be you would be doing this now. But I'm kind of teaching you different than I <laughs> wrote the directions. So why not? So that was that one. I like that because it's it's taking care of. Right. And I'm going to go a little bit smaller. And grab that and pull it down. Okay. 
So then I have, right, both of my things. Now you know that these are all, this is still, somehow I did this right, <laughs> all on a parallel. I know Deborah, right? So this is all parallel to each other. There's not a whole lot of wonkiness in here. But what's going to end up happening is that these need to be Well, that's not a good example. These need to be nice and parallel to each other, right? Because this is where all the beads are kind of clustering onto. And I like to just put them on one, but you guys can put them on another. By the way, as I was putting on my bracelets today, I was like, I, I wear this all the time. That's why I talk about these being stock. I probably have worn this particular bracelet, and there's probably a couple on here. Um, I don't know how many times, probably over a thousand times because I've been wearing this for years. And this is what it looks like in a thinner gauge, right? But then I didn't have the charms to put on. So I put these beautiful copper African trade beads on before I made that second loop, just so you know, you can do that. And then they kind of go, you know, flipping back and forth. It's almost like a fidget bracelet too. So, so there's that. <laughs> Hello, Susan. I was bragging about you before. I showed your beautiful bracelet, so your necklace. So you're gonna have to watch the repost. All right. So, and Susan, when we were at AFCI two years ago now, she was the make and take person for this. And so I think Susan, you've probably made about a thousand of these <laughs> in your lifetime. <laughs> Just in that, I shouldn't say your lifetime, but in that one weekend. So here is a little trick that we're going to want to do. Um, and But what I'm going to show you now, as I didn't want to forget this, I'm glad I'm remembering it, is that this is the time to do the hammering with this adorable little nylon hammer here. And I'm just going to peek it out a little bit here so that I can hammer this because once it goes right angle, I'm not going to be able to get to it as well. Now I can do some hammering here as well. I think I said so many different ways to make jewelry that you really um, I'm just kind of, I'm not going to go, I'm going to hammer this stuff, but I'm not hammering over the wire itself because aluminum is so soft. I don't want to dent it into itself. I don't have this on the instructions, but there's a lot of different ways to make a bangle. And then I'm going to kind of swip it, moves it over here, do the same thing. Now this kind of, what I like about aluminum is it really stays where you put it, but not all wires are going to, and they're going to have that springy backiness to them, springy backiness. Um, and so uh, I'm going to show you another little tip in a second, but you can see that I've got one that's on one side and one that's on the other side. And what I want to do is I'm going to take and bend make that right angle, bend this down toward that middle main line piece there. And I'm just going to grab it here, hold it, and right where the circle stops, right, and the rest of the bangle starts right at that neck, I'm going to make a right angle down. Okay. See, and I'm going to make, they can see it's just a little bit, need a little bit more. Oh, is it frozen? There it goes. Frozen. Interesting. Okay. So you've got that one and that you can see that's going to hook onto there just fine. And then this one, remember, don't, don't bend it up, bend it down again. So you're doing the exact same thing. I'm going to go actually through here to see if that'll work. And I'm going to bend it down. And that one I might need to bend just a little bit. I went a little bit too far. Okay. So you've got this going on like that, right? Ooh, that's a good shot. <laughs> Hi, Catherine Tetzla. So nice to see you. 
Um, what is going on here? Okay. So, and then all this is, all you do now is that you just open and close these around this main, um, main thing. So it looks so hard, but it's really not. I remember when I was like, how can I show people how to make these? So I'm going to open this up. Okay. I'm going to just you have to open it pretty far. You guys don't be afraid. Open, open. And then you're just going to kind of slip it in. Come on, guy. Might have to slip it in. And then I'm just going to close that right back up there. Catherine, I haven't seen you in a while. My love, how are things? Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Just going to try to just get it in there. Ugh. I feel like I'm wrecking it. Look at that. I kind of wrecked it. I should have opened it far. Isn't that something? It's like I could have just opened it a little bit farther, but no, I got to force it. <laughs> All right. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, here we go. So, but you can see that I pretty much just got it right back in line with my fingers. And you're not going to have that good of luck with some other types of wires. But this, I just love the saturation of this, uh, of this, this wire. Now, this is the purple, and this is the fuchsia down here. I'm loving that. Okay, so what I want to show you is that not so much, well, I mean, we need to harden this, right? So let's bring it back around. Well, I think it was probably this. I'm going to bring it back around here and I can actually, you can bring it back to your form, whether you use, you know, a bangle sizing puck or not. And sometimes if I need to, I'm going to just grab this and bring it up off of there so that I can get a nice contact. Here we go. And reshape it. Now, what I want to show you, though, is for the springy, this is other, um, other metals, the springiness, what I want to show you, I'm going to have to, I would have to, you know, kind of get that rounded again, is that I want to bring this down here and hammer it so that it's in a slightly smaller position. And that's how you get the springiness into the adjustable bangle okay that is why whoever invented this my apologies to them because it really took off and we're all doing it <laughs> but you should get a lot of credit there person this is what i love the small anvil for this particular project and i'm trying to figure out how i want this on here but what i like about this is it's got this little shelf here that i can hammer against and then i can hammer uh these pieces separately from each other And then that kind of gives them, you know, a nice little bit of opening there, too. I'm like obsessing over this not being perfectly round. But so that is where you build that spring in is when you kind of bring this back and then and then you're doing that because uh, you're giving giving that wire some memory okay so now the easy part hi chris gatzow we got almost the whole design team here we need micah and a few more okay so isn't that cute so we've got um again this one's called the royal jewels and they're all just ready to go on 
So I'm going to do this. You guys remember that the links are already in there. And I'm just going to open and close these onto the to one of these. Now I'm kind of putting it between guys, right? So then they'll kind of stay focused in a specific spot. And I can do this with my fingers. If you, um, you can also like just do it with two pliers too. This is a pretty nice wire. For those of you who don't, like I'm kind of a stickler for jump rings being closed all the way and nicely. So I'm just going to plop this on here again. I'm just not doing so well on the, so I like to close it, but then I like to give everything on the same plane just by giving it that one little nudge in there as well. Hi, Facebook user. Oh, hey, Janet. So uh, thank you for that, because I did not mention the aluminum wire comes in two gauges. It's 12 and 18. So we're working with 12 today. Thank you for that. Okay, and this one just needs a little, little bit. Okay, so, so far we've got this really, I'm digging this kind of color combination here. So adorable. And so I think we, we won't use the fuchsia today, but what I want to do is I want to show you how to make some charms of your own. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off. I like using this, even though this is way too big, <laughs> but this is a double flush cutter and I want that nice specific little tiny end on there that is gorgeous and let's just give ourselves like about three inches we'll do let's do three different charms that are in this uh, light rose a b yes jan um janet so this is definitely 12 gauge and what I just had up here that I'm I'm going to be making um, some charms with, the this is this is the 18. So and I mark them because I'm like just getting to know my um, my aluminum products here. So I want to make a jump ring. So let's try a different couple different couple different ways. I can just make like a plain loop to make a jump ring, right? Not a jump ring. I'm making a a plain loop um, head pin. My goodness. That's kind of big, but just to kind of give you an idea, you can work, you probably want to work more toward the tip for this. And um, where'd my, I got tools all over here as usual. And then I'm just going to stick my, my, um, you guys have done this in so many projects already. Put, um, put my chain nose. I like having something with an edge here a chain nose so that I have a nice corner or edge to bend against. And then that's what's going to be my stopper to make this. I'm going to make a charm. Okay. So before I put my crystal on, <laughs> it's always good to remember, is you're going to want to harden this. So that's going to do two things. It's going to harden the wire, but it's also going to give you a nice flat piece. Especially down here. So let's get out some of this. This is the Light Rose AB. And again, Preciosa, you guys. I don't have to tell you what's going on out there with Swarovski. This Preciosa is amazing. I can't tell the difference. And I was a... I was an um, ambassador for Swarovski at one time. So this is going to be cute with this purple wire going through it. We could also have done like the fuchsia wire as well. But look at this. I love that this 18 gauge just like slides right on there. Absolutely adorable. And all I'm going to do is I like to just 
fold this back down and I give myself a nice acute angle there. Okay, obviously way too much, but I'm going to give myself about three eighths of an inch here and then roll that back to make a plain loop head pin. Here's another way to do it. Might as well teach as much as possible as we're just, how are we? Over oh, 44 minutes, not too, too bad. So this one, what I want to do is I'm going to make a cute little spiral and I'm just going to go teeny tiny to the tip there. I can't feel it. Does the aluminum work hard and well? You know what? It, it is amazingly, um, I mean, it's, it's not going to work hard and like steel, right, Deborah? But it's, it's really pretty cool. This is the first time I've been working with aluminum, and I gotta say that I am, I'm a convert. So I just make like this little tiny spiral here. I'm just gonna kind of go a couple times, and this will lay a little flat. It'll also lay to one side of the drill when I put it in, because now I'm just going to go like that. And so basically I've made myself a little seat, right? I don't know if you can see that. Well enough. And so you can see this would probably work better with something that was like a round bead or something instead of a, um, a bicone. But let's work with it here and then just bring it up to the side. And then you can see it on the side of the bicone. That's super cute too. Again, we're going to make that cute angle. Like when I was first doing it, I would just go to a right angle, but this way, let's give ourselves a little bit more wire here. Okay, almost to like more of a half inch. I'm going to bring this up. That way, when you bring this up, it's just going to form a really nice circle. Let's see here. Can rock it and rock it and rock it. See, that way this spot is able to come up into the circle. That's a little something for you. Oh, I forgot to work hard in this before I put it on. But you know what? It's all protected in there, so it would be pretty cool too. Yeah, Debbie, I think, I think maybe you said that before, but somehow I, I learned that during one of the lives. That is so cool. Okay, I'm opening that. And... What else? Let's make a different one with more of like a, a decorative bottom to it. What can we do since I'm getting so fancy here? Maybe we'll make like a little knot or something. Just, just going to kind of go around and round and pinch. Am I back on screen? That would be nice if I was actually on screen. Yeah, it's almost like a little rosette. Look at it. Look, I just did that. <laughs> so just by holding that one little end, well, now I'm going to make sure and snip off that little end. Okay. And I'm going to make a right angle. This is pretty darn cute, I have to say. Don't you love it when us presenters, we get like really high on our own work? <laughs> so I'm just going to come back in here with the nylon jaw plier and just going to straighten that out as I go. I could put it down to the bench block too. Oop. Stay together, little rosette. Yeah, pretty cute. <laughs> and so I got this little rosette thing here. Hi, Anne. I'm so glad I found you, too. Oh, I'm going to make a lot more of these. I'm in love with this little Rosetta. <laughs> All right. Brenda, I think you don't have enough. Um, you don't have all of the tools and players on your, on your bench top here. Let's get a few more. 
And then we're going to go back to this. Let's see if we can make. Aha, my best one yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these on. You know, I could probably, you, you're going to see me here. We have four, so we've got three spaces in between. So we can offset these cute little light rose ones here. And I don't have the jump rings for this, so but I think that they we have, come on, stay there. We have just enough. I made these big enough so they can go right onto the wire. And you know what? That's kind of fun because then you also have a difference of height, which I like for the variety too. Or you can make another jump ring. It's good, I think, to show you just different like ways of doing things. And I'm going to open this one too. Let's see if this one will fit. This was my smallest one. And sometimes you think, ah, it's not big enough. But then when you rock it back down, guess what? It's there. Oops, I put it on the end. <laughs> oh, well, so much for that's uh, That's definitely a Brenda thing. No, nah, I don't like that. Is to, uh, to make a pattern and then to forget about the pattern. Okay. I'll just put it, it's no big deal to open it and close it back up and put it in right in the right spot. I mean the right spot, you know. I amaze myself that sometimes I think that I'm not a very um, anal person, OCD person, and then, you know what, I am. So I'm kind of liking that, guys. Let's see. Pretty darn cute. Let's get this guy because I think he's messing around with our our little tablescape here and we'll see if we can't make it pretty ha 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 I know Catherine right I don't think I've ever tried that before all right let's get this off of here we're gonna put that there we have that little pattern all set Let's see, we have these in here. We're going to set the shot, right? Oh, that is pretty cute. Mm -hmm. And again, they have that, you know, that kind of like little interest there. Sorry, I can't zoom into a little bit better here. I'll do the reverse zoom. I like that combination. This would be pretty too, but I think I like this is the pink. I think I like the purple against it too. When did purple become a Valentine's color? There's a little bit of trivia for you that I don't know the answer to though. <laughs> I know that um, that aluminum is really cool and the uh, the link is up there. I put the links for the um, the gall, the um, this heart. Oh, love it. You know, I love something when I growl. Uh, the aluminum wire and also the icons. I just got that link today. Awesome. So, so some of you guys, is this in the way? Golly gee. Some of you guys were asking, like, how can we get the um, stuff from John Beat? I mean, a lot of you are in John Beat. Is, is the heart from John Beat? Yes. Yes, it is. So John Bede is a distributor, wholesaler, um, manufacturer. So they do it all. But what they don't do is retail, right? Because they trust their retailers to do that. But since I'm coming direct to you, and they started doing this, they start up, I, I opened up an Amazon shop. Okay. So that's where the links go to. It's Amazon. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then you can go the direct there. there. There are other guys out there that are saying they're John B and they're not. So trust my links. Um, and some of them are just like exorbitant, goofy pricing. But anyway, I, di I digress. Um, just trust my links. That's all. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. 
Oh, hi, Sherry. How are you? Definitely watching the replay. I'm glad. Now, I wanted to show you what I'm doing next week because I'm getting more organized. And you know that is not the easiest thing for Brenda to do. But you guys, you have to see this. It's so organized. It's way over here. Have you ever seen this crystal banding in plastic encasing? Oh my God. And what I'm doing is I'm going to make another one of these in the opposite way, but so it'll be with the teal banding. Oh my God. It's going to be so fun next Thursday because I'll show you how to make these earrings. And I don't know about you, but I'm using this 18 gauge and it is I can use it for an ear wire, so I'm going with it. I don't think it's 18 gauge, like true 18 gauge, but it works for us, right? Don't look if this makes you queasy. There we go. Cute. You could also, obviously, this is a little bit bigger than some of you might be comfortable with, but you could use this as a pendant, right? Siri so said in 2008, no, Anne, you're the best. Siri said, okay, here, here we go. Anne says, Siri said in 2018, when it was a Pantone color of the year, it became a Valentine color. Anne, you need to come on every time I'm live, and you can be my little factoid lady. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, but you can see how these come to, and I'll have the links for you guys next week on this, but there's two, there's, um, I just picked these because I absolutely, well, you know, I love plastic. <laughs> I love plastic. And then there's these two colors that we're going to be playing with next week, but there's also like two different sizes I wanted to show you. So these are the big, so of course, oh, and thank you so much for that. Um, these are the, the sizes. So this is bigger and this is smaller. Now, I have to ask Carmi because they both say one millimeter. I ain't buying it. I think that might be some mispackaging. But also in this, this is a lemon color. This is great for this Pantone. Speaking of Pantone colors of the year, you guys, right? So this is the Pantone color. And this is a an AB finish to these crystals, crystal AB. So you can kind of see a little, can you see a little bit of a pink flash in there? That's that. The um, the teal, not really getting it. That's plain crystal. Just so you know, had to look it up because I was like, mm, there's some AB in there. Yep. 